Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Overcoming the Wednesday Hump. For those of you who are new to these videos, they are designed to do just that, to help you to overcome that midweek Wednesday feeling when you're halfway through the week, your motivation levels are starting to dip and you're asking yourself, how am I going to get through this week? These videos are designed to lift you back up and to give you that motivation and that inspiration to keep driving forward in the direction towards your goals and your dreams for the future. Now, for those of you who are new to these videos, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do hope that these videos offer value. And if you enjoy what you're listening to, then please do like the video and subscribe. And do feel free to suggest any comments on videos that you might want me to do in the future. For those of you who are regulars, thank you so much for keeping up to date with the videos that I'm posting. I really appreciate your support. I'm so grateful that these videos are adding value to you. And again, if you have any suggestions for videos that you want me to record, then please do put them in the comments below. Now in this week's video, I want to talk about the importance of forgiving yourself and just letting things go. And this is so important because sometimes we can be our own worst enemies. You know, we, we can treat ourselves with much less grace and much less compassion than we do others. And it's really important that when you do make mistakes or when you do feel like you've messed up or you've done something stupid, that you're able to acknowledge the situation, acknowledge what has happened and to forgive yourself and keep things moving. There's something to be learned in every situation. So when you do do something wrong or you make a mistake, it's really important that you reflect and you take stock of what you can learn and how you know you can avoid doing that in the future. But staying in that place of feeling guilty, feeling you know potentially depressed, feeling terrible, feeling horrible, that doesn't help. And so it's really important that you get the balance between reflecting and acknowledging what has happened and then dusting it off your shoulder and keep moving forward. Because if we don't do this, sometimes we can start operating out of a place of insecurity, a place of feeling really terrible, feeling down, feeling almost worthless, when that is not true. There is so much good that I'm sure you've done, but it's usually only when something negative happens or when we mess up that that becomes magnified and we forget all the other areas that we're actually good at. And so I want to encourage you to stay, take stock of your strengths, to take stock of all the areas where you've been doing things well and not to allow one negative experience or one mistake to pull your self-confidence down and make you feel like you're not good enough or you can't do the thing that you're called to do. The other thing I want to mention is that one of the positive things about making a mistake is oftentimes because of the negative emotional response it can cause, they become such powerful learning experiences because you just never forget it. And because you know that there's such a strong emotion attached to it, it stays ingrained in your mind so that if you're confronted in the future again with a situation that's similar, you've really remembered and learned from before so you don't repeat that mistake again. And, and that's a positive thing. So it's really important that when, when you do make a mistake or when something terrible happens and you, you feel guilty and you, and you wish it never happened, that you do really sit down and think, what can I learn? How can I ensure that this doesn't happen again? What actually went wrong for me to do this? Why did I make this decision? Why did I miss that? Or why did I upset this person? Why did I say that thing I shouldn't have said? Why didn't I do the thing that I should have done? Because oftentimes there is an underlying reason as to why, and that, that could be because you're burnt out. It could be because you're extremely tired or fatigued. It could be because there's stuff going on in your life that you haven't been addressing. And so sometimes these mistakes can actually also be a wake-up call. What is going on in your life that put you off your guard? Or what is going on in your life that pushed you to do something that you wouldn't normally do or that you regret so terribly? Ask yourself these questions. Because oftentimes we are dealing with the, the symptoms of something rather than actually going to the root cause. So I encourage you to do a root cause analysis in your life and try to understand what is at the root of this? What is underpinning this? Why did I do this? Because if you can address the root, then that will help you not to make a mistake like that in the future. And in addition to that, it helps you to address what may be going on in your life so that you can allow yourself to be in an overall better position, you know, for your mental health, your physical well-being and just everything in general. To help make this make sense, I want to give you a simple example of a mistake that I made and how 
through making that mistake, I almost started to catastrophize a little bit when there was really no need for that. I just literally needed to dust it off and keep moving. So anybody who knows me well knows that like punctuality is my thing. I really take pride in showing up on time, being on time, being early, because I respect time. I highly respect time and I respect other people's time. And as well as that, I just feel a lot more comfortable when I know that I'm early for something because it gives me time to just rest and relax and just to kind of get to grips with what the meeting is about or just get to grips with the environment or just to feel settled in myself. But there have been two occasions now where I've showed up late to a meeting, not because I forgot that I had that meeting, but because somehow I changed the times in my mind. Sometimes I do that. Um, and so I literally was oblivious to the fact that the meeting was going on when it was going on. And on both occasions, these meetings have been with really important people. So to then enter that meeting late, I just feel terrible, especially because I'm someone who values time so much. And with an incident that happened recently, afterwards, I just started thinking, oh my God, maybe I'm taking on too much. Maybe I can't handle everything. And then because I was having all of these negative feelings and emotions, it started to discourage me and to make me feel like I didn't have what it takes to carry out some of the upcoming events that I had when really I did have what it takes it just simply was a mistake and you know next time I need to make sure I check my calendar in the morning and look at the times of the different events on that day and so I say this to say that sometimes when we make a mistake or when something negative happens we can then allow that to start infiltrating other areas of our lives and making us feel like maybe we can't do the things that we know that we can do or that we're passionate about or that we have lined up and this is where it's really important that you're kind to yourself that you just let things go quickly because what good would it have done me if I just kept on thinking about all of those negative thoughts and making myself feel bad and beating myself down you know I apologize to the people in the meeting they were extremely forgiving and compassionate and were joking about it saying that you know they've made that mistake before and that was that I just needed to let it go but I did help hold on to those emotions for a little bit of time thereafter and I just felt terrible and I know it's a, a minor example because I know that many of you listening to this may have made much bigger and significant mistakes and um, I, I totally get that. But at the same time, you holding on to that negativity and, and, and beating yourself down is not aiding or helping you in any way. Yes, reflect. Yes, take stock of why you made that mistake and what you can do differently going forward. But let it go and move on with your life move on with your life learn from it and keep pressing on and moving forward because the fact that you even feel terrible about a mistake you've made is a good sign because it shows that that is not really a true reflection of how you want to live or how you want to behave it shows that you've already reflected and recognized that oh my god i actually did something that really i shouldn't have done and so that is a, a good thing because if you didn't care at all, then you wouldn't feel that way and that would be quite dangerous because you'd continue doing that thing oblivious to the fact that it's wrong or simply not caring that it's wrong. So I wanna encourage you, this video is about letting things go when you make mistakes, acknowledging what has happened, reflecting on it, learning from it, but then being willing to let it go because holding on to it and beating yourself down is not going to help you. And the other thing I'll add is that making mistakes remind you that you're only human. And sometimes we have to be reminded that we're only human. Because if we're not reminded about this, we can become we can become so um, difficult. It can become so difficult for us to relate to other people. And sometimes those mistakes, they humble you, especially using myself as, a, as an example, because I pride myself on being a punctual person and I respect time. If other people are late, it really irritates me. But now I've had two occasions where I've genuinely accidentally been late. It just reminds me that life does happen and, and these things happen. So if another person attending my meeting or showing up to something of mine is late I can exercise more compassion because I've been there before and so I just want to remind you that you are human yes it's good to have high standards it's good to have high expectations but after all we are only human and as humans we are fallible sometimes we will get it wrong and so just as we would exercise compassion to others we have to practice exercising compassion to ourselves and just dusting things off and letting them go learning from it 
you know, taking stock what you can change next time and just moving forward with your life. So that's my message to you in this week's episode of Overcoming the Wednesday Hump. I really hope that that encouraged you. And I also, the last thing I wanna say is that sometimes the process of letting something go doesn't happen instantly, okay? You can still feel a little bit negative, but so long as you have the mindset that I'm gonna let this go, yes, I acknowledge that it was wrong, but I've learned from it and moving forward, I'm gonna put this intervention in place and I'm just gonna let it go. Thinking like that helps the process of your emotions catching up with you and truly letting go. It makes that process a lot faster rather than ruminating on it and just feeling terrible. So I really hope this, this video encouraged you. Thank you so much for listening. Wishing you a wonderful rest of week. And as I said earlier, please do like and subscribe the videos if you're enjoying the content. And please do put below in the comments any video suggestions that you have for me. Bye for now.